good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. H O M E House of Melanated Excellence. We are back. The God our day, C O Victor, and the legend himself, A Z Faison, man, is here, man. So, so go ahead, God. Go ahead, break it down, cause we was just getting into his his enter into the lifestyle, him enter into the game. So, go ahead, what yeah. you about to hit him with? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, A Z. Um, we were just speaking just now, man, and actually from your book and from the movie. I just, I just realized that you, you was a different cat, man. I mean, you still are. You were a different cat. Your, your thinking, your process was different about the game, and um, and you were just saying to me just now, you know, off off air, you were saying how, you know, if everybody had followed my lead, nobody would have to bleed. bleed. And um, and I, that was that's powerful right there. So obviously, you had a, you had a, you had a vision for how you wanted to run things, and I just wanted to hear. You know what was me, you meaning mean, meaning that I had to connect. Okay. Right. The prices was top was great. The, the material was top notch. So it's like we didn't have to to, to go nowhere else, and, and 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 everybody was coming our way, man. The money was flowing. Meaning, this this you know, fuck any other connect. Stay right here. Let's get this paper, bro. You know, had the jukebox. The, the jukebox we used to keep the drugs at. It was it was just a it was a hundred thousand dollar a week movement at in the beginning. You understand? So there was no need to break off from this, brother. And I, I felt like if everybody followed my lead, nobody had to bleed. But so you know, everybody got their own intentions at the end of the day, brother. You can't you can't stop a man from um making his own moves. True indeed. So, yes, how, how was how was Rich? So, how was Rich Porter dealing with your success now? Because now you're going from AZ working in the cleaners to now you you becoming pretty much a, a a force of your own. So, how does the dynamic between you and Rich Porter does that change any? We we good because Rich had went to jail, right? Rich had got into a situation. He did like a year in jail, but when he come home. I got it on smash, kill him. When he come home, I know who Rich is. Let me put him right back in pocket. Took him to the to the car dealer. I think he bought he bought the saw, nine nine thousand. Uh, we got him that, and and I gave him a break. And, and mm. Rich knew what to do from there. Right. He knew what to do from there, so he you know what I mean he did what he had to do. So it was it was nothing but love and respect. You understand what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. That, right. that was that was my brother-in-law at the time. You feel me? Mm, right, because you just had a baby by his sister, so now that's how that went. Bro. Now, in the in the movie, paid in full. Um, they they was all at the hospital with you when you was giving birth to your first child. When you when your first child was being born, is that accurate? Was they with Alpo and Rich? No, 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 no. That's not accurate. That's that's the movie. They, you know what I mean? Right. And um. And then they, I don't even think they had that in the movie, though, did they? Yeah, they had that because that was a scene when you got the you got like a beat, and you had to leave from the. I, um, I, I know I got the phone call. I said yeah. they having a baby, but I don't, I don't I don't think they showed us in the hospital together. Yeah, they but, was popping um, bottles. We, they was they but, was popping bottles outside the hospital, um, celebrating your, your outside newborn. Outside the apartment, outside the apartment, like we yeah, yeah, downstairs. Like, yeah, yeah. I think that's um, how that went. I'm not okay. sure. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I didn't really happen. I always looked at that, but we was upstairs and we, I was on my way to the hospital and, and they was popping champagne, like, congratulations. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe right, you're right. right, maybe I'm wrong. Right, nah, nah, it's all good. So so Rich didn't, he didn't have a problem with you dating the sister? Like, that was that was all good. Like, you his man, you you AZ, you a Scorpio. We know how Scorpios get down. He he didn't have a problem with you dating the sister? He what? Rich was in the game before me, and I used to work in the cleaning. Right. So Rich always looked at me like I wasn't that type of dude. Mm. You understand? But she used to come down to the cleaners, and we used to be kicking in the cleaning. You feel me? That's when we first, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. Exchange fluids at in the back of the cleaners. And shit, you feel me? <laughs> so when, 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 when she got when she got pregnant, I was like, "Uh oh, I'm in trouble with shit." Yeah, yeah. You feel? I felt the way. I'm feel like, "Damn, what I'm gonna do?" But he didn't have he didn't say anything about it. 
Mm. You know, me and Mr. came cool. He was letting me stash shit in the cleanest for him. You feel me? So we was always kind of like tight with each other. Got you. At the end of the day. Got you. It, 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 it was a love loss. Got okay. You. Okay. That's, that's, that's respect, man. So, yeah. you know, um, um, Pat, Pat Porter, man, she, she, she went through a lot, man. Um, with uh, her brother, Rich, and then her other brother, um, Darnell, man, what, what happened with, with Darnell Porter, man? This, this story, when I hear it, it always, it, it makes my heart just, just, just crunch up, man. What, how did Pat Porter deal with the loss of two brothers around the same time? Devastating, brother. Devastating to the point of still to this day. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Mm. Still to this day, brother, it hurts, man. People got to realize it's a little brother, a brother, and her father, all in that same month, brother, within a month's too. time, bro. Wow. Father, brother. Wow. You know, it's deep. It's, it's so deep that I'm not even going to go how far I think it went. But it's mm. that deep, brother. So, you know from what, what I... Mean? I what what I noticed about you, you was kind of prophetic. Like you you seen things unfolding, or you seen things that a lot of people didn't see. Did you see that the that the uncle at that during that time? Did you see where the uncle might have been suspect, or was he completely just off the radar as y'all going through the kidnapping of Donnell Porter? It was always a possibility in my mind that definitely mm. he was wow. suspect because. Mm. Because of the type of dude he was. Mm. You know what I mean? And um I didn't I didn't think he would take it that far. But at, at Rich's funeral, I'm sitting right next to him. My spirit felt like mm. this nigga right here. This nigga right here, man. Mm. And that's on God, bro. Man. That's on God, brother. So you know, and it was a time where when when Donnell was kidnapped, I wanted to say it to Rich, like, man, you don't think this thing is? But him and he was playing Rich so close and Rich was like, you know, my uncle man, he was telling him that we gotta you know what they gotta do. But I'm in my thoughts like this is the nigga right here in my brain. But mm. if I give Rich this warning, mm. do Rich tell him, now I got to play defense so you know what I mean? Now he know I know. You understand? Right, so right. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was really, really wicked, brother. And I think it played out the way it was supposed to play out because all the people that they were working for wind up telling on all of them. Now, you understand? Right. Now, that, that organization, if you want to call it that, was, was ruthless, man. You're talking about preacher uh, Clarence uh, Heatley. Um, that, that whole that whole situation was was crazy i was just watching the jeffrey the jeffrey dama um documentary on netflix and to me a lot of the things that that crew was doing was similar to what's going on with dama man like wait what was your perspective of the 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 uh what they called them the um the the uh the preacher crew the black hand of death the black hand of death like what was like what was your perspective of them at that time Um, they was known to, to do a lot of, you know, vicious things, but I didn't know how vicious it was until they got locked up and that shit started mm, coming up. Got you. And, and I said to myself, bro, this, these are not human beings, bro. Mm. These, these, these are demons, man. Mm. These, these have to be demons, bro. Wow. Think, think about it, man. You know, shoot me, kill me, right? I accept that. Take my head off, kick it around on the roof. <sighs> Take cut niggas' dicks off, put it in their mouth. Come on, bro. That's from Jesse Dahmer. Said, that dude was a demon. I watched a little bit of the, the Netflix. Shit. I said, I can't watch this shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, let's see. I can't man. watch this shit. This shit is homo. Uh, it's straight like what the fuck are y'all trying to do with me with this film, bro? Leave me right. to fucking cut that shit off, bro. 
Like it's trying to cast a spell on you, bro. Mm. But that's you know the thing. I mean? And where we at today? And where we at today? See, they casting this spell all over this motherfucker, bro. Facts. Mm. Facts. And now, come on, like, and, and I believe that God is trying to separate. It's time for us to separate ourselves from all demons right now, bro. That's what I see, bro. Well, What's going well, and, on? You know, I, I think I think your story is kind of like is is showing us that these demons is coming in all shapes and sizes and forms because you look at what oh, happened yes, with, 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 with Rich, where Alpo, even at that time, once again, your prophecy or your 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 intuition is mm. telling you something ain't right in the situation. So you look at what happened with Rich Porter and Alpo, how do you how do you even wrap your mind around Alpo doing this to Rich at this time? Like, how do you even, once you find out that this is, I don't know when you found this out, but when you found this out, how do you wrap your mind around Alpo doing this to, to Rich? What kind of demon time is that on? That's what I mean, like, in me, myself, I can't think how everybody else thinks, right? Right. But I don't see what sense it makes to take anybody life for money, for drugs. Point blank, who am I to stop you from living, bro? Mm, facts. You understand? Who the fuck am I to do that, to take somebody's life? I, I, I can't wrap my mind around that shit, man. Right. You understand? Meaning, like... If a nigga, I give a nigga a brick and he fuck up my money, don't pay me. The game tell you you should kill that nigga. Mm, or right. they ain't gonna respect you. They gonna right. think you soft. Right. This is what the game telling you. But I fuck the game. I tell the game what to do. The game don't tell me what to do. I'm the ball. Mm, facts. You understand? And the, and the day that the game tell me what to do, I quit. I don't want to play no more. Bro. Mm. Play the game. Don't let the game play you. Right. Mm. You say Rich. You say Rich did this to you. The Connect gave him something. He charged you X, Y, Z. All right. Why don't you? Okay. All right. That's what happened. All right. I'm gonna get him back. You know he's gonna hit you again. Mm. You know Rich gonna hit you again. Take yeah. the money. Yo, and then tell him, Nah, nigga, you owe me this. Blah blah blah. Whoa, if, if that's what it is, he right. can't argue. Right. To take his life, to take his life? Nah, man. That's when I look at it as a demonic, a demonic state. Mm. You feel me? And then, then, you know, time heal wounds. Right. You did 25 years, and then y'all come back out, and you tell the world, you show the world, you ride up there, Show him I did this. That shit was like shooting Rich all over again. Mm, Everybody was him that to, to, to put him in the woods and all that. So now I gotta get I had to get out the van to go help him. And when I went to go help him, Richard made a sound. So that shit startled me. Oh shit, he's still alive. So I grabbed the gun. I grabbed the gun from my little man and put one in his head. And then I had to pick him up. I had to pick him up and and dump him in the woods and leave his body. I was able to, you know, get him where he needed to be. And then we jumped back in the we jumped back in the van and I made sure I didn't skid off or anything like that to leave any kind of tracks. And we uh and we left. And we left and the rest was the newspapers. The rest was history. Everybody has seen that video, man. That shit like, ah, B, what the fuck? And you know, the internet went crazy on them. And I believe that's the energy that said, kill him. Mm. Arma, huh? If he don't do that, if he fall back and stay in Maine, God gave him a second chance. Right. God gave you one of his favorite prophet's name, Abraham. Mm. Mm. This is your new name. 
Right. Fall back. Stay up there, get your movie done, get your bread, bro. You kill too many power players in the game. Man. Harlem, Rich Porter, DC, Big Head Gary, Brooklyn, Demencio. Come on, bro. You know what I mean? These dudes was feeding a lot of people and they had a lot of, yo, you know, where you at, man? You come back. Oh, like, fuck that. You, know I mean? you killed yourself, bro. Mm. You should have stayed Abraham. Fuck out, bro. Damn. So, because... That, that's, how I see it from a, that's how I see it from a spiritual perspective, giving him the benefit of the doubt. Gotcha. You never thought that you... Um, you never tried to impose, you know, your ideas upon everybody else, though. Anyone else. You just... You never thought, hey, man, this is the way you need to be looking at it. To see it this way is going to get yourself killed or mess up the flow or, you know what I'm saying? I, always, I used to always tell him, chill, man. I used to always squash a lot of beef, bro. Yeah. Always trying to squash a lot of beef. Like, chill, man. What the fuck, man? I was never the type of dude, you know, they throw them little black and white parties, boat rides and all that. I'm not going, bro. Mm. I ain't never participate in none of that gator wearing, all dressed up, a whole bunch of drug <laughs> dealers on the same bus ride. What the fuck? You think the same thing they're taking pictures from? Yeah, yeah. Never, never involved with none of that shit, bro. You said I, that. I right? always thought that's the stupidest shit in the world, bro. Yeah. The only thing I might have did wrong in the game, and it wasn't really wrong, but it was wrong according to putting the heat on me, was buy a lot of cars. That's it. Got you. That's it, bro. Got you. I wasn't into no dumb shit, doing stupid shit, hanging around a lot of niggas. Nah, bro. Make my bread, go in, go snatch up a chick or something, go to the movie, go to a concert or something like that, and relax, man. You, I wasn't you know, on that other dumb shit. Bro. Yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> I was watching the movie uh, Juice, man. Juice was definitely a, a great uh. movie. For us as 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 youngsters back in the day, and it was very disturbing to see how in the movie Bishop flipped on his friends. And when I think about your story, and I see a lot of similarities between that movie Juice and your story. To me, you know, Bishop would be Alpo, and what makes me think that is at the funeral when Bishop goes to hug Raheem's mother. He looks at Q and that scene is like one of the most like eerie scenes in cinematic history where he just he the one that did it. And he's looking, he's holding uh, Raheem's mother. And then I'm thinking about it. I'm like, yo, Raheem name was Raheem Porter. Hey, Roland. How you doing? I should be asking you that. Well, we're staying strong. I'd feel better if I knew the police had somebody, though, you know. They, uh, they say there was no witnesses, and they don't have any leads, or, I don't know. I've been asking around, too. Nobody seemed to have seen or heard anything. Find those motherfuckers in the police ain't gonna have to do shit. Um, Eric, put them here. Uh, Myra, yes, I've gotta take, I've gotta take <clears throat> care of that. Okay, I just... excuse me. Remember me, Miss Porter? I'm Roland Bishop? Yes, Roland. Thanks for coming. You don't have to thank me for that. I mean, Raheem was one of my best friends. It's really nice to see people come together like this when something bad happens, you know? I yes. mean, personally, for me, though, Raheem was like my brother. I mean, he was more than a brother. I mean, we did everything together. Just kicking it every day. I mean, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. And I'm like, is is there a, a, a and it takes place in Harlem? Did you see that connection between Juice and your life story? When I when I when I saw Juice, I said, "Wow." When he when he went in the funeral, Tupac went in there and said, "Sorry, Miss Porter." I said, "Wow, them wow. niggas took our story." Wow. Into hip hop with this movie, bro. Wow. Hmm. 
In other words, we had the energy, we had the hood on smash. Everybody was following our lead. They hit their head, the body died. So now we're going to take that energy. We got the juice now mm. into hip hop. Wow. You feel me? Tupac became Tupac. You know, he got the juice. All eyes on me, blah, blah, blah. And the biggie. They blow them up. Now we need to take the energy elsewhere. We got to murder them now. Mm. Tupac and Biggie was like, like the World Trade Center falling down on hip hop to make way for who? I mean, gotta say Jay Z. Huh? Yeah, but gotta say Jay Z. Ah, you said it. You said it, not me. <laughs> Rocky Fella Records. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, well, once you look at it from a spiritual perspective, you can see what's really going on. Wow. You understand? Because it's all about attention and, and energy. And we need, we, it, wherever the attention goes, the energy flows. And wherever an energy is a currency, and that's where they make, that's where they manifest money from, from the energy. It's not about money, it's about the energy. And whoever has the energy, they try to recruit you, and if they can't, they get rid of you, bro. Mm, mm. So we need that energy flowing this way. Word. Word. Huh? So Right. I, absolutely. Matter of fact, um, I wasn't even paying attention to it until my man Jermaine told it's like, yo, he, he called, he said Jay Z, and I'm looking at Jay Z, A Z. And so there's another, like, there's so many, there's a few hip hop artists. I'm not going to, I'm not going to exaggerate and say so many. There's yeah, a lot of hip hop artists, a few, a few hip hop artists that, few. that, <laughs> that, few. that have, that have borrowed, if you want to call it borrowed. Do you do you call it borrowed or what do you call it? I call it I call it cloning. Mm. Talk about it, eh? There's a lot of them, man. But you know, I I, I don't get mad because sometimes I look at it. This thing what God wanted, you know, use me to do. Man. Mm. They not selling drugs. They they ain't, they ain't got to kill nobody. So everybody eating off of what we created. Gotcha. Because I really feel our lifestyle changed the thought. And the thought come before the action. Before we was we was young, we was doing it, foreign cars every day, jury and all that. Everybody looking at us like, wow, I want, you know what I, mean? I want to get money. I want to get money. So the thought of saying I'm not gonna be broke, I'm gonna go out there and get mine. I think we had installed that into a lot of niggas, but now niggas became billionaires and all that from from, from us changing the thought that generation. Not just Harlem throughout the hood, because right. everybody wanted to get money. Right. It's like it's like if we were the gener a divine generation. We arrived in the '60s and we took stage in the '80s, but someone knew that because they watched us in the telescope in the spiritual realm. Mm. You know, understanding that the brighter the brighter stars is connected to a, a people that's going to be born at a certain time. They knew that, so they watched us in the telescope. And then once we were born, they put us under the microscope and they let us rock for six years because. After the movie Scarface was like a commercial for us to go do what we need to do. And everybody started selling, you know, fell under hypnosis and started getting money in the streets. And they flooded each hood and they let the police fall back and let niggas rob. Dang. For about six years. About six. For about six years. Then when 1990 came, that's when all hell broke loose. That's when they killed Rick, 1990, beginning of, in January, brother. So I, I get it on a spiritual level what's going on. Right. You know what I mean? Right, but but once at the you time, connect, once you connect the dots. So, so you said nineteen ninety. Okay, so let me ask you this real quick because um, how are you dealing with all that's transpired? Because it's nineteen ninety, Rich is gone. Um, is is Alpo still in, in in the mix right now, or is he is he in DC? Alpo is still out, but he's out of town more so in New York. He's in DC. Okay. And so what it, sound a lot. And, and what? It, and what, and so where were you at? What are you doing right now? Because this this is after you got shot or before you got shot. I'm fucking. I'm, it was after I got shot. I got shot in '87, and um, I was trying to fuck with the music around that time, doing the mob style shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? But some folks were still on me because doing the music shit, they they sent the nigga in there, to, you know, to try to have me. You know, purchase a few bricks for me, but I peaked that. And once I peaked that, that's when I shut down shop. Fuck mm -hmm. everything. I'm not selling drugs no more. I'm just going to fall back and whatever I got, I got. I got. And if they come, they come. But I think I stopped in the nick of time, bro. Mm. Yeah. Now, was yeah. that was was that something that you just 
abruptly did, or you had it you had it planned out? Nah, I felt I felt the dude. The dude came to try to cop something. I felt it. I saw it. I looked around. I saw them. I said, "Oh, these niggas is on me," and I just shut down shop that day. Mm. That day, bro, game over. Fuck it. They was coming around me. Yo, look, man, yo, the son is God, man. Leave me alone, bro. I don't want to talk to y'all niggas. I don't know who's who right now, bro. So, you know, niggas, hey, that nigga ain't bugging out. You going crazy. I think some bullets got to his head, nigga. Nah, I'm good. In my spirit, I'm good. But I want you to take back, take that back to whoever needs to hear it, that that nigga lost his mind. He's crazy. The feds hear that or he bugged out. He, we, 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 we let him go. That's, wow. You know what I mean? Leave me the fuck alone. I'm, I'm done, bro. Wow. I'm done. Mm. Oh. That's how I looked at that, bro. Fuck the music, fuck everything, fuck anybody. Mm. Okay. Fuck my girl. That's what you want. You still want the, <laughs> the Gucci bags and all that. You know, again, go find another nigga. I'm done. Mm. All right, all right. I want all right. nothing. He says he's all the way out. He's <laughs> back. Just dropping out. Shut it down. Gotta shut it down, brother. Go. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and so. That's, and that's when God took, that's when God said, write the movie. Mm. I don't know how to write God. Write the movie. Write the movie. I don't know how to write. How write it? Oh, shit. One of the most popular, famous, classical movies of all time, which was entitled Trap when I wrote it, trying to tell the world this is a trap, the game is rigged, but it came out to the world and paid in full. And, and, and you, like, so the paid in full versus the trap, right? How are you, have you reconciled the differences between what you wrote and what was actually produced? At, th at this point, have you reconciled those two differences? Trap. I didn't know, you know, how, what I was writing at the time. Um, I'm just writing the truth, brother. Mm -hmm. You understand? I'm just writing the truth and hoping mm -hmm. that our story can help you see that it's not worth it to play the game. Right. I'm writing the truth. I'm looking. I'm, I'm writing from a perspective like, look what happened to me. I'm looking out for, for A, why they, why they try to kill me? Mm -hmm. My own sister's boyfriend turned on me. Look what happened to Rich. Alpo killed Rich. Rich caught an uncle, kidnapped his own nephew. Mm. Everything happened was an inside job. Mm. Nothing happened with them niggas across the street that don't like the fuck them niggas down. They didn't do anything. It was the niggas in the house with us, bro. Wow. Man. So that's what's deep about this story. Huh? So I'm writing from a perspective like, look, brother, it don't make sense to play this game. Game over. This is a dead end street. Go the other way to try to help save the next generation from taking the same steps we took. But no, fuck that. They didn't fall. <laughs> they didn't fall. But what I wrote was a three-hour movie. I didn't know the rules of writing. I didn't go to school for that shit. I didn't know every page was a minute. You understand? Mm. So I wrote, I wrote a 168-page stream, stream play. Right. So they chopped it down to, to what, an hour and... 10 minutes, I was 20 minutes film. So I, I get it, but to me, they turned it hip hop. Got you. And what I wrote was like a godfather. Mm. You know what I mean? Scorsese, uh, Ryan De Palma, one, one of them type of niggas to direct this shit, man. Yeah. Right, right, right. You understand? Right. We deserve, so, and we, we deserve that as a community. As a culture, we deserve yeah, man, that level, yeah. that standard that shit was of, of... That shit was biblical, bro. It was biblical. And, you know, I still got the screenplay, and I might release it as a book, just the way it's written. Just put it out of a book. I think that should sell a lot of copies. You know, if y'all put it out that way, fuck that. I'm going to put it out in a book so people can see my point of view. Yeah. Correct. So... You know what I mean? I understand. Anytime I try to share, every time I try to share my my story, I try to share it to help, never to hurt. True indeed. And not for bragging, right? That we were getting money, y'all wasn't. I don't, I'm not. I'm not one of the type of niggas. Never was. Never will be, bro. Right. Right. Right.
You know what I mean? I was the type of nigga, I buy a new car and I play, I sit in the back seat, let my man drive up. Facts, mm. 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 bro. When the the night the night that you got that you got shot, man, um, it's not too many people that could say they survive that kind of brutal attack. Can you can you describe what does the human being, the human body goes through under that kind of condition, under that kind of trauma as you've experienced it? All I can say is, man, from experience, they put when he put the gun on my forehead. And I watched him pull the trigger. Mm. All I could do was just close my eyes real tight and embrace. And, and all I heard was the gunshot. I didn't feel anything. All I heard was boom, and my spirit left my body. Mm. Mm. But they continued, they continued shooting the body up because I got shot nine times. Twice in the head, one in the neck, one in the shoulder, one in the hand, and the rest of, was in my leg which my leg was broken in three different spots from the gunshot wound. Damn. But I didn't feel none of that because I was out of that body. Now I'm up in the spirit. I'm up in, I'm, a, I'm with God. Damn. And I, and I didn't go up in there and say, oh God, they try to kill. No, it was like, God, I'm sorry. I don't want to die. Because I felt it was all my fault. Wow. He felt I should have never sold drugs. Mm. I should have never left the cleanest place. Mm. But so it's like God said, "You go back down there and tell them who I am." Damn. And I was trying, I was trying, but niggas didn't hear me, bro. So your God is real, man. We gotta fall back. Boy, he bugged me. Nigga, he lost his. I'm hearing the whispers. Wow. Look at the mm. outlet. Look at look at the outcome now. Mm. Damn, man. Huh? Man. So. But people don't see that part. All they see is, all they see, oh, that nigga, I would have, I would have bust my gun. That nigga should have did it this way. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Could you, you once had... you hear from God, bro, once you hear from God, your God word is, his word is bond, bro. Mm. He mean what he say, bro. God speaks in mysterious, but serious ways. Bro. So, and I see everybody, bro. I see, I see who everybody is on some real shit. I, I believe that. I, I believe it. that. I, I definitely I see it, bro. I see all these niggas in these, co these costumes acting like it is. This, this nigga, stop, bro. I know who you are, bro. Mm. Since since 1990, do hip hop, street shit, because you know some rappers that's just rappers. I'm not knocking them. Do do you? That's you know it's good. But the ones that's acting like they street and this and that and that since 1990. To me, it's been nothing but artificial, orchestrated influence. Mm. Mm -hmm. Since 1990. To the point where the youth today, the youth today hypnotized and all they know is kill, drill music. It wasn't created for that, bro. It was created to escape the game. That's what rap was for, Free, you know, freedom of speech on beat. How sweet is that? You ain't got to sell drugs, you ain't got to do nothing. Y'all just making millions off of talking shit on wax, on wax. Take the guns out of there, brother, and eat, man. Fuck is y'all killing each other for? You crazy? Wow. Don't fuck up a good thing, brother. Take that money and feed the hood. That's why I respect Nipsey. I think Nipsey saw that and he was trying to do that, but someone saw that and said, nope, there'll be none of that. Get him out of here. Facts. What, what's, what's going on you know with what this? What's, go, what's going on with this mentally? Why, why are we conditioned to, to turn on our friends? The human, to, race, the human race have went too far in the wrong direction. Mm. They went too far. The human, the, 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 whole direction, the whole direction have nothing to do with divine order. Mm. They got us living in the night when we supposed to be one with the day. Mm. What you mean by that, AZ? What you mean by that, AZ? I don't live in the night. Yes, you do. 
Yes, you do. When when do a new day start? At midnight. At midnight. The fucking lie. A new day starts with sunrise. Mm. But you're listening to the clock and you're not listening to God. Mm. Mm. So the clock gives you every moment of thought through your age, through the calendar. So it got you going against your own frequency. Got you. You feel me? You pulling all your energy, you giving all your energy to the night when you're supposed to be receiving the sunlight and being one standing up tall in the spirit with God, knowing that the sun is God, which all planets rotate around, so should the human mind. Hmm. So should the DNA. So so God can create us in what he intended to be Christ like. We're becoming monsters because we're we're living under the moonlight. Mm. A monster, a moon star, a monster, same thing. Monkey brain. We're mm. going backwards instead of forwards. And so now the children that are being born in this shit, they don't want to hear that shit. Mm. When, they when don't you, even know what we're talking about. What? When you talk about when you talk about the sun is God, because this is one of the most profound statements that I think a man can make. And it's crazy to me because it's so obvious how much of a role the sun plays in our lives. But the gospel of the sun is God. How does that, because because we the sun people, you're talking about the house of melanated excellence, melanin absorbs 99% of sunlight, right? That's so right. We, we're dealing with the, the, the power of, of life. Why is that such a, a hard concept for us to even cultivate within ourselves? Oh, you taught, taught you taught some other shit. <laughs> when it's really that simple, when mm. it's really that simple, without the sun, it would be no life, bro. <laughs> simple. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you mean? It's easy. <laughs> when, the, when when the body is alive, when the body is alive, it got a temperature to it. Because the light of the sun is in every man. Mm. When the body dies from experience, the spirit goes back to the sun. Mm. From experience. Return to cinder. From experience. <laughs> Return to cinder, bro. Mm. Everybody in the, in, the, in the sky, there's a star. There's a star that's connected to you. And that's like your antenna. It's like a little sun to star to God. Mm. The closer you are to God in your heart, in your mind, the brighter your star bright shines. The further you're away from God, the dimmer your star is. Mm. It's like you're turning out your own light and you become a demon if your star go out. Hey. Huh? Hey. Think about it, bro. So, Think about it, brother. So our actions. Well, I mean, sometimes what's... when I be building outside with my brothers and sisters, sometimes I be sometimes I be building. I look up, I be seeing my star over my head, blinking, brother. Like, yeah, I'm with you. And I point it out to people, they be amazed. Real talk, bro. Nah, you. Yeah, I know definitely, it's real. I know it's real, brother. It's not definitely, a game. definitely real talk. I, I've experienced in, in every human in every human being. Supposed to become one like that. This is what they used to teach in Egypt in the school of thought. They taught you how to think. Because they knew the thought come before the action. And once they saw you thinking right, you could go. You could go. You graduated, bro. That's right. Now, 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 because you took a you took like a two-year, you took like a two-year hiatus where you just started studying. I I you know, um during that hiatus, you said you didn't deal with your mother, you didn't deal with no family, no friends, nothing. You just took the time to get the knowledge. No, no human being. No human beings. Right? No human beings. What what was you studying? No, from 93 to 95, I shut the fuck up. I ain't talked to nobody, bro. What did you did you move away? Or? I had a spot in Long Island. You know what I mean? I had a spot in Long Island and I would stay home. And when I did come out, I was watching the service and shit. Mm. I was I was listening to my higher thoughts, which is God to me. Man. Mm. I think everybody, I think everybody have that in them. Okay. Meaning like if someone say to you right now, yo dog, come me to this party. You get a phone call tonight and something inside of you say, 
Whisper real nice and simple, don't go. Don't go. But the second thought, the mini thoughts coming there, I think I could I could put on these new sneakers I just got, put my chain on, pull the bins out. Yeah, fuck that, I'm going. Right. You go, and then something happens. Shoot out. Damn, almost get hit, shot. Damn, God, get me out of this one, man. I swear to God, man, I ain't going. You know what I mean? Something told me not to go. That was God, bro. Mm, mm, facts. And mm. once you start following that, and you don't even give the second thought, no more energy, like, fuck out of here, you walk into the mind of God, bro. Mm, that's real. You have to yeah. kill that second thought, bro. You got to kill fuck that second out of here. thought. Fuck out of here. My second thought don't even come around me no more, brother, because he know I ain't fucking with him. Mm. Nigga, you, you got me shot the fuck up, man, you Word. piece of shit. Damn. Mm. Yo. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't follow the second thought, man. That first thought is At God. All, brother. The first thought is God. Whispers, peaceful, polite. Don't go. I don't have to speak twice. Why? I'm God. Mm. Mm. If you bury that, you might as well go walk down to the cemetery and jump on in it, brother. But you're walking dead, bro. And, and the irony to all of that is that's the same thing the ancestors taught. Going back to ancient Kemet, ancient Sumerian, ancient Dogon. That's yeah. the same thing that they taught. So, so what what books was you was you reading during that time? Like what was you studying at this time? See, I swear, I swear I didn't read hardly no books. Wow. But people, what it's like God got his people out here to confirm where you at in thought. Mm. To let you know that this is real, bro. Yeah. For example, one time I was sitting on on the car in front of my mom's building. This is when I was waking, like, you know, God had me locked in. And, shit. and I'm sitting there, you know, across the street. You got the niggas, the Jamaican cats and some other cats, they hustling. Then across this, on the other side of the street, it was a kingdom hall, a church. So I'm sitting in the corner of the car. Right? And deep thought. I'm like, looking like, damn, look how bright and peaceful it is over there. And look at this shit over here. I said, like, heaven and hell. <laughs> this is where I'm at in thought. I'm not saying it out of my mouth. And as soon as I'm in that thought, it's like this old lady popped up for me out of nowhere. She said, shh, I know where you at, young man. Don't say a word. She said, see, over there, you could get anything you want. Trouble, drugs, money. But over there, you get teeth. That's the only thing that's over there. Mm. But over there, you can get anything you want. Sex, drugs, money. You know, they don't care. It looks dark over there. It looks bright over there. He said, but I know where you at. He said, that these people, those people over there, they cross the street. So they don't want no part of this. These people go across the street to try to mess that up. They don't care. He said, but they on that side of the street, and they on that side of the street, but you are in the middle of the street. Mm. And she said, the people that's in the middle of the street get hit by cars. You have to hurry up and make a decision, young man. Mm. I was like, wow. And it seemed like she fucking vanished. Wow. You feel me? So I know it's real. God is real, brother. He got angels, bro. Mm. Got an angel to pop up on you to, to, to confirm what he's saying to you in that moment. Yeah. That installed that shit in your brain. Like, word. Thank you, Father. You know what I mean? And I, I didn't become a, a Jehovah Witness. I just saw the difference of what the decision I had to make within so, to take me higher. So what is, what is your thoughts on religion then? Uh, did, did you practice a particular religion? Like, I, was, I, was, I, respect, I respect it. I respect anybody that's speaking God, but at another level. So, so growing up, growing because up in to Harlem, me, religious, religious have fell into business now. True. And that's why the church is not so strong as where we at right now in time, dealing with global warming, the return of consciousness, the return of God's establishment. Mm. happening. Mm. The fifth dimension, that's all that means. The return of God. 
The fifth dimension. Break that down. What's you said? That's the return of God. Fifth dimension. We, 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 the sun have been. The sun have pulled Earth up into the next dimension. And whatever mm. don't live by God's law will die by God's law, and it's happening right now, bro. Mm. Ooh. Just as all the planets, like I said, rotate around the sun, so should the human mind. And mm. those that's going against it, so should those that's going against it, you see it. Don't fucking sound crazy, bro. Damn, bro. Like, like time to humble yourself and find find God. Freedom, 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 meaning freedom. free yourself from being dumb. Free yourself oh. from being dumb. That's what it means. Freedom. Mm. <laughs> right? Freedom is an inside job. Mm. Emancipate yourself. You're not gonna find freedom on the outside, brother. There yes. You go. You're not gonna find freedom on the outside, brother. Yeah. Free of the being kingdom. Dumb. The, the, free yourself from being dumb. Freedom. Listen, the kingdom of heaven to me is the right, the light state of mind. I don't give a fuck if you got a beautiful house, apartment, a mansion, all these cars, yachts. That's not home. A continent is not home. The right state of mind is home. One with mm. God. There you go. Yes, sir. I made yes. it home. Brother. I made it home in 1993, and I've been been home ever since, trying my best to pull people back into their inside so they can push back their flesh and bring forth their spirit because your own flesh is out to kill you, and you don't even know it, bro. Hey, the yeah. flesh could never be satisfied, brother. Mm. Never. That's right. That's right. Think about it. You meet a girl, beautiful woman. You do everything you ask her for. You get the head, you get the pussy. Ah, shit, that was magnificent. You walk right outside, you see a girl with another fan of your mom, you holler. If you never satisfied, bro. Right, 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 right. You buy a new car. Me, John. Then you see something crazy. Damn, I should get that. you never satisfied, brother. Insatiable. All that stuff is material. Once you come into the spirit and you come one with God. You have peace. Holiness. Yeah. <laughs> you wow. gotta defeat your lower desires, man. Man, and become one. That's why God, God is called the Most High. Mm -hmm. What, what temperature is higher than the sun, bro? <laughs> it's none. But you see, you see, we think we looking at it from the outside. Oh, that's stuck. It should burn. You should. Burn. You, it's not on the outside. It's the inside. It don't burn the spirit. Mm. It is the spirit. It is the spirit. It only burns flesh. See? Mm. Flesh is not allowed in, in the kingdom of God, brother. Yes, sir. Talk that talk, eh? Talk that talk, eh? Doing it. He's doing it. So I see what you're doing every day. You look crazy to me because I'm in spirit. You talking from a spirit, I mean, a flesh perspective. You thirsty. You look like a a monster to me, a moon star, a rock, a mm. stone, a condom. Mm. Stopping life, man. Right. Think about it. The Washington Memorial, that, that big thing out there, that skinny thing, that's yeah. similar to the obelisk from, from Egypt. From Egypt, uh -huh. from Kemet, yes. Right? The same thing. Mm -hmm. But one is real and one is fake. Yes, sir. Yes, Think about that. So if I put that one on top of the one that's real, which, you know, represents the penis. Right. Yes. It's a condom. Mm. It stops life, brother. So they got us living under the moon, and that other one was one with the sun. Mm. Creating life, brother. Yes, sir. And Come sustaining on, brother. life. Come on, let's go home, bro. Let's go hey, home, bro. We home, bro. It's H-O-M-E, bro. We home, bro. Let's go home, bro. <laughs> we home. Go home, bro. Man. 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 Let's come up out. Let, us, let us come up out of the cave of ignorance, brother. Remove the stone. Remove the rock so that we all can see, brother. Hey, that's yes. what we're doing, brother. That's what we're doing. We, I believe August we do. August 20th, 1987, yeah. brother. August 20th, 1987, the day I got shot. People might look at that shit like, damn, that's fucked up tragic. It was the greatest day of my life, brother. No. Greatest day of your life. The greatest, the greatest day of my life, brother. God brought me back to life, brother. Mm. Mm. I see everything. I see it all, brother. Now, now you can be who you were supposed to be. God, God did. <laughs> <laughs> God did. 
God damn. For real. Man. Mm. For real, for real. You know, um It's um, not a penny. It's not a penny in the house of God. Man. Everything is free. Man. Mm. You know, um when when he, when he, uh, when your uh when your, your your people's man um gangster gangster Lou called you the the Obama of of the hood. And um Obama do do you do you recognize why he would label you that? Why he would call you that? Lou saw it firsthand. Mm. And he saw the he saw the operation, how sweet it was. Mm-hmm. He saw how real I was. Mm-hmm. He saw I ain't give a fuck about money. Mm. Too much coming in, brother. It's, you know, it ain't mine. It's ours, bro. Yeah. Mm. Everybody eat, brother. That was my philosophy, bro. Right, right. In other words, the, the system I had up, like, you know, I would give you a, a bag, and the bag is $1,000 worth of drugs. Now, if I give you the whole cereal box, it might be $10,000 worth in the cereal box. You understand? So we was making... You know, but in each bag, the thousand dollars worth of work, you go inside the green door, which we were selling it out of. That bag would go in within 10 minutes. Customers mm. come 10 minutes. Mm. So out of that money, you would make $250. So all you had to do is give me 750 Right? So it might be three niggas on, on that ship. When he come out of there, the next one going in. When he come out of there, the next one going in. We go. So you can leave when you want to leave. Okay. Some niggas would some nigga would just sell one bag and got a two fifty and run. A real nigga would stay all day and make two or three thousand dollars, four or five. You feel me? Mm. So any nigga that 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 you know that came whooping or we had that nigga guy, so he wants some money going there, sell one the bag, bro. It changed this whole like you know, oh that nigga ain't a real nigga, dude. You let me, you know, let me eat. It's the way it was, bro. There's no way we can lose. Don't fuck this up. We good here, right? You understand? Right. It's like when the nigga that did that to me. So oh, we could have we the same operation I had in Harlem. We could have took it to the Bronx where y'all from and make it happen. Instead of y'all niggas shooting me, y'all should have jumped in front of the gun that any nigga was trying to shoot me. Mm. And protect me, man. Mm. Don't fuck this up. Don't sure. think like you're going to rob me and get what you can get and you're going to become the nigga. Nah, brother, don't work like that, man. Many would call if he was chosen, bro. Yes, sir. Mm. And I'm not talking to be talking, bro. This is fact. Nah, but the, the, the beauty of that is that it's you fact, recognize that, that you was chosen. Because what is a what is a man right, to brother. what is a man to do with envy? What is did this what is what is envy? Because this envy concept that's in our psychology seems to be so all destroying. these dudes, brothers, eat all these dudes is eating off of us, bro. We we own the thought mm. of what they what they doing. Come on, man. Facts. Come on, man. Come on now. The thought come before the action. Word. Mm. We ain't trying to be what y'all done. We we set the standards. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful for no other crew. There was a lot of niggas getting money. They might have been getting more money than us. But all eyes is on us for a reason, bro. Yes, sir. With with, with that with that being said, because, you know, I, I was I grew up and was raised in, in 40 Projects, um, Jamaica, Queens, man. Um, Was there a... Was there an intersection between you and your operation or, or Harlem and, and that movement when it came down to Supreme Team in, 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 in South Jamaica, Queens? What was happening there? Shout out to my I man. Ne- o, I, never met, I, never, I never met Supreme himself, but I met Black Just. I think Just was his man. Yes, his sir. His man. And, and, Just, and Just used to come through, you know what I mean, uh, a few times. You know, we did some things together. And... uh. That's about it. I don't really, I don't, I never met Supreme, being honest. I met Just, and, um, well, I remember one time we went out there, we played ball, I think it was 40 Projects. Yeah, yeah. Against all the cats from Queens and shit, we had a game. 
that we might have played for like twenty five thousand. Wow! And we won. And we won. But it was, you sure that was, that was about it? You sure you won? Huh? <laughs> you sure you won? Yeah, we won. Man. <laughs> So, so, I, I, had, I, had, I had little Mike Boogie with me. Little Mike Boogie put on the show, man. Oh, man. Put on the show. We definitely won. It was a good game, but we won. Yeah. But what was your perspective of, of Queens at that time? What was How was Queens being looked at? I was respect, bro. They, yeah. they, you know, they was doing what they do. They was respected, bro. Right, you know, right. A lot of cats from Queens. I don't, you know, I, I know their names and shit, and I know some of them, but some people don't want their name out there, so I don't, I don't do that. Right, right. But uh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. I knew a lot of cats, but a lot of real cats that was that was doing what they do. You know what I mean? Driving spaceships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You feel yeah, me? UFOs, yeah, them UFOs. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Man. Basketball was a was a big thing in your life. I mean, what? How did how did that how did that play out? I mean, I mean, I hear that? Lot of basketball. When you play in basketball, you know, it seemed like it was a it had a big part of the part of your life. Yeah, oh. that was it. You know, we still, you know for recreation, you get money, we got nothing else to do but play some ball. That's what we do. Play ball, we played ball for a lot of money back then with each other. Different crews against each other. You know, I don't know if y'all knew Jesus from Brooklyn, man, so rest in quick teeth. Yeah. We used to play a lot of niggas together for the money and win. It was, yeah, basketball kept you in shape and shit. So, <laughs> so who, who, was your, who was your favorite? Because, you know, Rucker Park is a, that's a motif in, in our culture, you know what I'm saying? So when I mean, it comes to street legends and the basketball, who was your favorite like street ball legends that you used to go watch and play? It was a few of them, man. I used to like Master Rob, Fat Saddler. Um later on in the year, we had Skip to my Lou. Skip to yeah, Ali Mo, Black yeah. Widow. Ali Mo was from my hood, so you know, I knew him as yeah. a kid and shit, but uh that lot, you know, uh, there's a few of them, man. There's a mm. few of them, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but they, were, they used to put on the show, man. They used to put on the show, man. It was definitely something to watch. That definitely played a major role in Harlem back then before that became sponsorized. And I, don't, I think it's more watered down now from what it used to be. True indeed. You know? True indeed. Um, AZ, do, do, you still, do you still love Harlem? How, how was... How do how do you reconcile your relationship with with this with Harlem? I will always love Harlem and respect Harlem. It's just the way the show ended that was so nasty that it, that leaves a bit of taste with me, and mm. I don't think it's the same. Mm. You understand? And, and and nothing supposed to stay the same. You know what I mean? Right, right. And it might have changed for the it might have changed for the better. You understand? Right. But I know the players changed and the game remained the same, but I'm loyal to what it was, not what it became. Insane. Mm, understood. So I just I I just crossed the street and mind my business because it wasn't no gang gang back then. I knew I knew everybody that ran the blocks, the barrels, the you know what I mean? Right. Before it became set, so it was a different, so it was a different mindset out there right now. So, you know, I, I stay out the way, bro. Understood. So I can't. I'm not. I can't judge it. Yeah, because I, I don't want to be judged. You feel me? It Understood. is what it is. But it, it ain't nowhere near what it's supposed to be. That's how I look at that shit. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, hey man, yo, this this been an honor. It, it's, it's been a pleasure. To sit down and just and just feel your energy. I, I can feel the pain. I can feel the truth. I can feel the knowledge. Yes. What's your What's your overall message for your people, for your community, for your culture, man? What's the How we post my message? From this point is, my my message My message is coming real soon. Okay. I have the solution. God installed it into me where we at in this very moment in time. Mm. And I could make everybody a millionaire if they follow my instructions. Mm. Trust me. Trust me. And we're putting together the presentation as we speak. I should be finished with no more than two or three weeks. Mm. It's, it's real. It's real. It's not mine. I can't even claim it because I don't want to claim it because it ain't mine. To claim it is to kill it. Mm. You feel me? The I can't claim the sun. I can't, I can't claim the sun. Who can touch the sun and hold it? 
to make it stop. No one. Dollar. You feel me? So I, I, I get it. The truth can't be claimed. The truth is and will always be. But you can connect to it. So I'm working on something. Word. You know, that's, that's, that's something that we need to do so that we can do what we want to do in righteousness. I'm, you know, it's not for no garbage. It's not for no street shit. It's for the truth. Yes, sir. And for everybody to be right. And, and for no one's dreams not to be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. If we come together, to, come together in, in this truth, unity is the solution to all pollution. To me, mm-hmm. unity equals Unity equals just us becoming one in divine order. Yes, sir. Just us. Say it right. Just us. Now say Jesus. Just us. Same <laughs> word, bro. Mm. Say word. Word. Mm. We have to become one back in divine order. Sun, moon, and stars. Father, mother, and child, bro. Sir. Anything mm. that's not in that order is out of order. Mm. But I'm working on something. You feel me? To make us catch back up in time. And I will reveal it soon. I'll let y'all know in advance, you know, what it is. Okay. But it's as simple as this. With the smartphone, God put the world in the palm of our hands. The whole world in your hands. <laughs> huh? Right. You can ask the phone anything. It's going to tell you. Huh? <laughs> yes, sir. And where you at in thought, though, is what you're looking for is what you get. So we got to stop using our smartphone for dumb shit. <laughs> Fast. That's number one. Number one. But when I tell you what we're going to use it for is how we're going to win. And it's really simple. It's a six-step process. And if everybody follows instruction, it's over, bro. Mm. Listen. We're going to create, create our world within these many worlds become one with God's world. Ooh. And take back our energy so that it can be used for us instead of against us. Yes, sir. Cool with that. I'll reveal it to y'all soon, bro. Can't wait to hear that one. Listen, mm. I yo, I already me, I, I can't listen. I can't listen to these other YouTubers always talking about the problem, the problem. Look what happened here. Look, 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 lie, lie, lie. Oh my god, bro. About the Stop solutions. feeding Satan, bro. Yeah. Stop feeding Satan. What is the solution? Let's come together and talk solution. Correct. Yes. And come up with the best idea. Right. I have it, bro. And I and I think I've been that, had it. That's right. And and you also have the credibility. You also have the the history. You have the um you Every, have the voice. Everybody eats, brother. Everybody eats. And that's the bottom line. I can't tell a young man to stop doing what he's doing. He's getting a whole bunch of money doing that shit. Right. Nipsey Nipsey Hustle said it the best. How can I reach him and he's making more than his teachers? Mm. Hmm. Mm. I get that. I get that. You feel me? Because the nigga couldn't tell me nothing back then. Like, what the fuck you talking about? Get out of here, old man. Go on the bill and sell one of them packs, man. Right, right, right. Need some right. money, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? Right. I get it until I got hit in the head. Oh, shit, that nigga was trying to warn me. But once you hear from God, <laughs> yeah, I sent him, I sent him too, but you ain't listening. So I had to talk to you face to face. Mm. Well, so I'm bringing something weird. Look, shorty, if you do this, you ain't got to do that no more. And it's so simple, he's going to be like, word, man. Facts. Listen, um. Yo, yo soon, bro. Yo, mm. that's, that's what we're talking about, right? We, we want solutions. H-O-M-E, House of Mentally Excellence. We heard your story, and we felt that your story was in alignment with what we're about and what we're ushering in this new paradigm of thought, this new paradigm of how we Same. engage with each other as as brothers, as human beings, and you definitely have um, embodied that. And and we 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 trust you, and, and we believe in in what you're talking about. We believe in what you're saying, and your knowledge is so profound. And I think it's it's definitely time that you get recognized for not just from the street stuff, but for the the, the spiritual and the mental fortitude that you obviously must have to um, endure what you endured and still be here um, going into this, 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 new, this new Scorpio season, you're still here, brother. And um, I'm thankful for that because I do feel like your message is the message that the ancestors 
one wanted to usher in at this particular time, brother? Yes, sir. Respect, brother. Respect on the highest, man. You feel me? I just feel that it's really time for us to push back our flesh and become one in spirit because the spirit is trying to save our lives and the flesh is trying to kill us. Man. But global warming is all connected. It's all connected. Return to spirit, brother. Return to God's establishment, brother, and come up out of man's establishment. If okay. we obey God's law, we would never have to worry about man's law. So before, before we go... Up, killing nobody. Mm. We, before, mm -hmm. before we go, when we hear the term God, right, we... we Everybody has their own interpretation. Everybody has their own understanding. When you say that, because you're coming from the Mecca, right? Because we know the 5% teachings come from the Mecca, Harlem, where God body, knowledge of self. When you say God, what are you actually referring to? The sun. Mm. The source. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all. Think, think, think about it. Think, think, think about it like this. Right. Think about it like this. The garden. Mm -hmm. Nobody talking. Nobody talking. No. But we all naked without shame. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't know this. It is, it is what it is. Right. Yeah. We're in the right temperature. Mm -hmm. We don't know no other temperature. Right. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Right. That's right. Trees are bearing fruit, vegetables. Mm -hmm. The first person that talked was the devil. Because if we all in our right state of mind obeying God, mm -hmm. you don't need to talk. We won. Yeah. So the first person that grabbed the tree and said, This is mine, and we came out of our mind and did what he did and said, Well, this tree is mine, this tree is mine. We put the garden under slavery first when it was all one. Mm. Mm. So you say to yourself, damn, the voice. Voice is spelled Roy Ice. Wow. Cold fucks up the weather. It makes things cold. It, it, it begins to kill. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Voice, where do it come from? The voice box. Mm. This is my thought, my philosophy. You don't have to believe me. Where do it come from? The voice box. What is the voice box? The Adam's apple. Mm. Eat from that tree. Eat from that tree, surely die. Mm. Stay in your right state of mind, brother, and listen to the first thought. <laughs> and let God really be your shepherd. And you be walking, be with God, brother, every single day, bro. You don't uh, have to say a motherfucking word, brother. Uh, Just imagine if nobody talked, brother, mm. to bring to bring you out of your mind to pay them attention instead of giving God our undivided attention. Mm. The kingdom of heaven would be at hand, brother. Words. We would be controlling the temperature through our temper, and we would not need oh. no windows. Mm. <laughs> Let me set up. Gone, brother. We talked, man. Y'all. Well, listen. We had enough for the night. It's real, man. This stuff is truth, brother. We right. have to come right. back to this, bro. You listen to what he said. He said, check your temperature. If you can check your temper. Understand, man. <laughs> oh. Yo, listen. Huh? AZ, yo, listen, man. That's yo, my brother. Yo, we love you. We thank you for coming on. This is not the... This is just, just the beginning, See, I bro. love every human being. Yes. I love every human being and righteousness, and all I'm trying to do is help and just give it some thought. We, Don't we listen gonna... to me. Give it some thought, brother. Uh, and we uh, all can see that is real. Thought is given. We fell. We all fell. We all fell. Ah, uh, we all fell in love with the creations and out of love with the creator. And it's time to come back home. It is time to come back home. Come it back is home. time to come back yes, home. H O M E. We yo we here, yes. man. Listen, 
AZ yes. Faison, icon, legend. You heard it first, yo. The sun is God. Yo, man. Yo, God all day. You got anything to add on, man, before we leave out, yo, man? man? It's just an honor and a pleasure, man, to hear the God speak, speak with such authority, you know, on the issue. You know what I mean? It's, it's, and I love it, man. And it's beautiful to see his journey, his transformation, you know, from, from where he was to where he is. And, and I believe you know, it, where he is is where he always has been. Yes, sir. It was, just, it was just some hiccups along the way to get right. there. And, right. And now he's here. And we see it. We see it. AZ. <laughs> yes, sir. From the yeah, AZ. Yes, Yo, man. Yo, H -O -M -E. I wish I wish y'all I wish y'all I wish y'all success. Thank you. And uh keep keep spread keep spreading the truth, brother. It's time, brother. It yeah. is time. It okay. is time. And we will do but that. Let, yeah. let us feed the spirit and, and, and let us stop feeding Satan. Everybody gonna be all right. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hey, listen. One love. Peace. One love. God bless y'all. Peace.